Hello, welcome back. I hope you are having a fantastic day, morning, evening, dinner, whatever. Whenever you're watching this, hope it has been fantastic. So today I am doing kind of a review and if you stay, I'll show you how I did this eye look. I also uh, let you know all the different products that I use so that you can see what I use to create this look. But let's get in and talk about the After Hours eyeshadow palette. So whoop, Bad Habit has done another dupe and it's been a fun one. So I use the Bad Habit After Hours palette and this palette is so cute, little square. It is a cardboard. It has a good size mirror on the inside, but check out those colors. And let me turn that. These colors are stunning. So I started using the colors and I was like, oh, let's use this one. Ooh, maybe I should use this one. And I think, actually, after looking at this, I now know I used all nine. I used all nine. I did because I was having so much fun with putting this together. Excuse me, my little phone just went off. Um, someone is texting. So, oh my gosh, I just had a blast. I was like, okay, we'll start out with, with this color here, kind of on the transition section and working my way up. And then I was like, ah, uh, let's get some of this flushed because it kind of matches the lip. We'll put that, you know, kind of a little bit further down the transition, kind of creeping into the crease. All right, all right, I like it, I like it. So then I went in with Cabernet and kind of deepened that crease, brought it in some, went in with some Hickey. Mm-hmm, yeah, it's called Hickey. Yes, it is. And my little nephew came home one night with those. I nicknamed his um, girlfriend Hoover. That's all I'm saying. Okay, then we went in, we have some wine stain, um, along the outer piece here, kind of blowing out that color hickey. Then I took some clutch on the inner. I went with eye contact next. And then this color gossip, I have backed up next to that color hickey. Took the powder room slightly underneath the brow bone and on the inner corner. Yeah, so that's about it. I did take the wine stain and kind of blow out underneath the eye just because, you know, when you're using nine colors and you're getting all creative, why not add some more, right? Right. So anyways, as far as the palette goes, love the colors. Absolutely love the color combination and thought that that is extremely beautiful. By the way, I'll say it again, but right now my little fan is going crazy. So if you hear kind of a constant hum, I'm sorry. It's hot as heck here in Texas. All right, back to center. So this palette is stunning. It is gorgeous and I, I'm thrilled. I just love these colors. Now the downside to the palette, I think Bad Habit has studied from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is why. Look at this palette. So this is the first time I've used it and you can see it's a little roughed up. That's because this thing has a lot of fallout, a ton of fallout. So you're going to have to do one of two things. And what I did today was I would try to press into the color and then kind of dab it. But if you press, it still kicks up a lot of fallout. So you really want to kind of put some powder or tape or something right here to help because even though I would tap my brush, I still got some fallout. This, this palette has a lot of fallout. Or if you use the color and you tap your brush to use for this eye, just gently pick up the bit of the fallout that you tap back into its original pan and use it for the other eye. So that's kind of my Anastasia Beverly Hills technique or tip for palettes that do this that have just so much kick up. Now for a palette at price like this one is, I I don't really mind the fallout as much as I do on the expensive palettes. They drive me nuts. If I'm going to pay $45 or more for a palette, I don't want it to look like I'm almost done with it after the first couple uses. So this palette, just know you're going to have to be careful, either slightly dab and press or when you tap your brush tap it back into the original color pick it up softly for the next eye 
anyways I really like the palette so if you like these colors I think you're gonna like the palette I did blend um, throughout because I was finding that they're not chalky that's not the right word but some eyeshadows just blend amazing from the get-go and like you almost don't need a blending brush this one may be because of the colors being kind of intense I, I did use my blending brush a lot more so if you don't have a blending brush and you love this palette you may want to consider getting a blending brush because it just helped kind of put together everything so anyways enough about the review and my thoughts would I purchase this palette again I, I probably would if I ever got through it um, and I wasn't a collector that has 20 million already slight exaggeration probably 19 million anyways if I wasn't a collector and I like these colors and I use the palette up I would repurchase it because these colors are just so much fun and so pretty so I hope you like this and if you want to stay to see how I use the nine colors to create this eye look you're in the right spot here we go oh and by the way hi okay Mrs. so we are gonna get started using the after hours from bad habit as far as the rest of my face goes as foundation is becca and this is the ultimate coverage in the color driftwood on my lips i've used the mega last liquid cat suit this color is in pink really hard and then i topped it with this kind of iridescent metallic lipstick from wet and wild and the color is my two lips are sealed how freaking cute is that it's cute don't lie then on my cheeks i used the uh, desert rose from note i got that from boxycharm hula bronzer and the fenty highlighter also my brows were wonder brow okay so now you're caught up didn't want y'all having to watch all that mess when we're getting ready to get into this palette. So this After Dark palette, I believe, is a knockoff of Huda's. Huda Huda. And yeah, I'm ready to try some knockoff. I'm not, I mean, I want to use like all these colors, like all of them, multiple times. <laughs> we're going to pick up the color Lustful to get this party started. Ooh, I always like a really pretty neutral color. Oh, as far as the rest of my face goes, I did use the Gerard Setting Spray, and the scent is rose, and it really smells very pretty. Now, it's not like the Granny Rose kind of perfume. I mean, it may smell like that when you first put it on. Just kidding but it doesn't have a lingering smell and i almost wish it did because it's a real light rose smell not the like rose oil in your face although good rose oil is not bad either i know i can't decide what i want to say right my husband's back out of town however he left me a big thing of coffee so i've been heating it up every day since he's been gone and he'll be back in a few days luckily for me he is an amazing man okay so we're going to pick up this color flushed i, I think i want to bring because i eat ooh, oh lord that's a lot of fallout that habit has a lot of fallout i've noticed i'm gonna put that above kind of in the transition area and a little bit lower kind of in the crease so we're kind of blowing this out. Anyways, my husband's a doll. So I've been uh, still working on my grandmother's stuff and will be for quite some time. And I was, was just there because some of the stuff was supposed to happen uh, while I was there. And it didn't. And so... I needed her house fixed and several other things done and so 
I was stressing about it because I don't like to ask for help. I'm really pitiful about asking for help. But he got on a plane and it's not that he's not going to have fun too, but he like kicked out. I had a large list or it felt like a large list. The realtor wanted some things done on the property and I agreed. And so, I mean, they, they do need, they did need to be updated, but yeah, he just gets on a plane, um, and knocks out all kinds of stuff for me that I just didn't have time to do on my last trip. So just very, 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 very blessed. All right, we're going to pick up this color Cabernet because it is screaming my name. Mm-hmm, it is. That flushed, I feel like I barely touched it and it fell apart. You would think they were taking notes from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yeah, I said it. You know you thought it. Okay, so we're building this color up. This Cabernet color is pretty. So him and his dad fixed all the stuff for my grandma and I'm uber grateful. And it is hot. I hope you guys don't mind the fan stand. I got this little bitty fan and I know it's loud. I'm sorry, but it's hot. Now I think I'm going to pick up the color Hickey to stay within that wine, those wine colors. This thing has too much fallout. So we're going to dab. But I love these colors. I like anything that goes on the airs on the side of like reds or oranges, but these are kind of a pink, purplish color, which is fine. But this palette is really pretty. And I'm just going to keep playing and adding color. So God only knows what I'm going to end up with. I might look like I got socked in the eye. Ah. Okay, this does have, I mean, I know I'm almost done with the eye. So you, you think I would have done this ahead of time, but as I continue to use these dark colors, I'm a, I'm a little less scared. Maybe that'll help knock off some of the fallout. All right, I'm gonna pick up the color Pancake Ice Cream from Beauty Bakery. I'm gonna take this fine pencil brush. Well, it's not a fine pencil brush, the more pencil brush. And I think I'm gonna pick back up that color Cabernet. And really kind of define where I lost it. All right, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of powder room. Powder room. I'm gonna pick up the color Clutch. And that's gonna go right on the inside here. This palette is gorgeous. Then I'm gonna go in the next color with Eye Contact. And then we're going to follow it up with some gossip. That way we've got kind of some shimmers going from light to dark. I'm going to go ahead and pick, dab a little bit of that hickey right on that line there. I'm going to switch to eyeliner for a moment and then we're going to darken up the corners. I'm using the Makeup Geek Immortal. Okay, I've got my eyeliner on. And now I'm going to pick up the Marc Jacobs. This one is in a brown, actually called Brownie. So what I'm going to do now is pick up that kind of finer pencil brush. And this one's called Wine Stain. I would think that one would have been called Wine Stain and that one could have been called Hickey, but hey, who am I? So I'm going to kind of go right over that Marc Jacobs with it. I find if I use a eyeshadow over my eyeliners, they will last a bit longer. Although if my eyes are watering, nothing lasts up to watery eyes. It just doesn't happen. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that wine stain and just right in this little bitty corner, just mentioned wet eyes and there it is. 
Okay, so we're going to pick up some of that wine stain and then in this little bitty corner we're just going to dab that in there. And dabbing, very technical term, very. <laughs> Cracking myself up this morning. Okay, so we're going to kick off that extra powder. I like sometimes putting my head back to make sure that's the side walls are under control. And since I'd like this to last the rest of the day, I'm going to go ahead and add my another layer of primer. I just picked up the Hangover 3-in-1. I guess the Gerard Rose one I put too far out of reach. So I do like having the sometimes the multiple layers of setting spray really helps really really helps I'm feeling like some false eyelashes again and I'm gonna do the ones with glue scary so I'm gonna finish my eyelashes off camera I really appreciate y'all kind of seeing what I did to create this look if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Talk to you soon. Have a great one.